In this video, I'm going to explain the difference between sensitivity and specificity. So let's get stuck into it. When you have a disease, let's say the disease is appendicitis and you have a test, let's say the test is abdominal ultrasound, you will know that for some people who have appendicitis, the ultrasound will be negative, And for some people with appendicitis, the ultrasound will be positive. And that's part of evaluating how useful a test is. So you get the group of patients that you want to do the test on, and then you test whether the ultrasound is a good test or not a good test in that group. And that's what sensitivity and specificity is. Sensitivity. That means for all the people who are positive for the disease, what percentage actually have a positive test. With a sensitivity of 95%, this means if I take a group of people with appendicitis using ultrasound as a test, it would identify 95% of patients with appendicitis. You can also look at it as the number of false negatives. So if the sensitivity is 95%, that means 5% of those with appendicitis will not get picked up by using an ultrasound scan as your test. So to calculate appendicitis, you're gonna take the number of people who have the disease and have a positive ultrasound scan, and you're going to divide that by the total number of people who have the disease. And when you look at specificity, what you're saying is, if you look at all the people who do not have the disease, what proportion of them will have a negative test? With a specificity of 95%, that ultrasound scan will identify 95% of the patients who don't have appendicitis. And to look on it the other way, specificity is about false positives. So that means if I scan a group of patients who do not have appendicitis, 5% of them would have a positive ultrasound scan, even though they don't have appendicitis. So the test would be positive, even though the disease is negative. And to calculate specificity, what you need to do is take the number of people who don't have the disease and have a negative test, and you divide that by the total number of people who don't have the disease. So it's the proportion of non-diseased people who are correctly classified, whereas sensitivity is the proportion of diseased people who are correctly classified. So when you're looking at specificity and sensitivity, you have to remember that everyone in the group that you're looking at has the disease. What you're doing is evaluating how effective a test is for a group of people who have the disease. So the prevalence, the number of people with the disease in the population is irrelevant because you've got a select group who have the disease. So that's why prevalence does not affect sensitivity and specificity. The use of this is really to evaluate the test because obviously in the real world, when we see our patients, we don't know who's got appendicitis and who doesn't have appendicitis, but we start with specificity and sensitivity because it helps tell us how useful a test is going to be to identify the patient who have it or don't have it because otherwise if that test isn't any use on the sensitivity and specificity front what we're going to end up doing is sending lots of patients to theatre with appendicitis when we don't need to or sending lots of patients with appendicitis home because they've had a negative ultrasound incorrect. That is sensitivity and specificity in a nutshell.